YouTube. We are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, basic JavaScript, and we are on challenge 49 of 113. So let's see what we got. Uh, we are writing reusable JavaScript functions today. Okay, so in JavaScript, we can divide up our code into reusable parts called functions. Here's an example of a function. Function, start all functions off with the word function and you give it a name. It's a function, so you have to have the uh, parentheses. This is where it can take in arguments. You can pass data through here. And then whatever is contained in the curly brackets is what executes when this function is called. When there's an instance of this function, all this gets executed. Okay, so we can call or invoke a function by using its name, followed by parentheses like function name, function name. Each time the function is called, it will print out the message hello world and the dev console. All the code between the curly braces is executed every time. Okay. Create a function called reusable function, which prints the string hi world in the dev console. Call the function. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing as they have here. Normally you'd have logic in here, but right now all we want is it to print hello world into the console and then we need to call it. So when we're making a function, they all start with function that tells JavaScript this is a function, and then you can name it whatever you want. So this reusable function is what this one's gonna be called. Camel cased is best practice, and it's a function, so it gets the parentheses. And then again, whatever is inside these curly brackets will execute. So we want console.log, we want a string saying hi world. So now we have a function, but as you can see, nothing is output. So we need to call this function. So we declared it, now we need to call it. Simply by saying reusable function. This is an instance of the function we just created. Yeah, if we spell properly, reusable function. There we go. Now we can see our reusable function call referenced this function and executed what was in the code block, which printed out hi world into the dev console. So that's all we should have to do for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.